ASRBNET 2023 Plant Pathology. So all the questions are uh, you know uh, memory based questions. I personally wrote this year uh, you know like uh, the question paper is really easy and fantastic. And I would all, I would also say it's a little bit tricky, but the question paper is really fantastic. So let's see uh, you know we uh, we managed to collect 147 questions I think out of 150. So and uh, we also mentioned you know like uh, answers. So some answers might be wrong. Uh, so if, if if there is such kind of wrong answers will be there uh, please let us come to know or you just uh, you guys just uh, comment below so my name is janet shankar reddy and i am working as assistant professor in kasar best you so the first question is first indian scientist who uh, started the systemic collection of uh, fungi so the first indian scientist who started the systemic collection of fungi is k r kritikar in 1885 he is the first one who started the collection of fungi in india k r kritikar we know very well that E.J. Butler is considered as father of plant pathology in India and J.F. Daster and Cunningham. Actually, a few people got a little bit confused with uh, Care Critical and Cunningham. Make sure that Care Critical started a systemic collection of fungi in 1885 itself, whereas Cunningham started working in 1889, the two, uh, you know, like uh, uh, algae, that is Cephalioris species. And the next one is the microcyclic rust produces. Actually, macrocyclic means we know very well that all five stages will be present, like zero stage, that is a spinial stage or spermatial stage or zero stage. Then stage one, iridium, stage two, telium, stage three, basidium, stage four, uh, uh, sorry, picnium, asium, iridium, telium, basidium. So five stages are there in my macrocyclic when it comes to microcyclic absence of few stages or absence of one or more stages here a microcyclic rust is generally contains iridospore and teleospore it generally produce iridospore and teleospore so the answer is iridospore and teleospore the first question answer is coal care critical see here the options also we have tried to mention as exactly they are uh, they have asked in the uh, question paper but few of the options we haven't remembered properly but we remembered the answer so the few of the options are added for our convenience uh, so hope you guys understand so the next one is slope of disease progress curve used to calculate i think it's audpc that is area under disease progress curve i'm not sure i thought it's audpc please let us come to know if there's any uh, something wrong so the next one is a fungi resistant to carboxin having a modified resistant mechanism of so actually if if the carboxin the mode of action of carboxin is a succinase dehydrogenase inhibitor so it having the mod maybe i thought uh, maybe uh, it may be the you know like a modified mechanism of succinase dehydrogenase inhibitor uh, so maybe if it is modified this uh, enzyme or something like that it can automatically become resistant to that fungi uh, that is resistant to that fungicide hope so the next one is uh, particle size of uh, rod shaped viruses so they have given many options 10 into 1000 15 1500 something like that i thought it's a 12 and 12 into 2000 nanometer i do little bit doubt about this i will tell you if i if i'm feeling a little bit doubt if i thought it's a little bit uh, uh, tricky one for me also so that i will tell you don't make this answers are 100 percent right answers 95 percent of the answers that we are mentioning are right maybe five percent may, may be wrong so hope you guys understand so the next one is the trap crap for warbanki they have given options like mango sorghum flax seed and maize so the trap crap for warbanki is a flax so the trap crap for warbanki is flax so the next one is a single striga plant can produce how many number of seeds so we know very well uh, striga is an example of uh, uh, partial root parasite so which it can produce you know like uh, uh, 50,000 to 5 lakh seeds so the next one is the dichotomously branched conidiospore conidiopore sorry uh, with acute angle is the characteristic feature of paranospora so in downy mildews we have uh, some important genera like uh, uh, you know like uh, schlerospora paranospora plasmopora bremia something like that will be there right so here dichotomously branched conidiospore is actually produced by paranospora so the next one is uh, which of the following is a not a necrotroph they have asked not a necrotroph so here we need to understand what is necrotroph necrotroph in the sense uh, you know like uh, the pathogen which uh, uh, living on something i mean some other organism or something else uh, you know like getting the nutrients from de dead and decaying organic matter like they don't need any living host to be to to survive or to go further so the necrotroph which in the sense they can survive on dead and decaying organic matter if you see pythium albugo and phytophthora they all are uh, uh, necrotrophs only 
they have asked not a necrotroph it is a erysiphae erysiphae in the sense it is a powdery mildew which is uh, uh, you know like a biotroph obligate parasite because it strictly need a living host for uh, survival right so all powdery mildews are uh, uh, biotropes only biotrope is otherwise called as obligate parasite okay so the next one is the pineapple smell in sugar cane can be observed in which disease so if the disease uh, you know like uh, in the case of red rot or whip smart or rotten thing there is no pineapple smell can be seen in the case of set rot we can see the pineapple smell so the set rot infected plants can produce uh, you know like a pineapple smell hope you guys know how the pineapple will smells when it is get rotted so the uh, answer is set rot so the next one is phenirogamic plant parasites showing partial parasitism belonging to the family so here why uh, in the in the first slide itself i told you a little bit tricky because they haven't asked the direct questions because we need to know convolvuli say cascuta belonging to the family convolvuli say orabanke say orabanke belonging to the family orabanke say if you see cascuta and orabanke both are complete so cascuta is a complete stem parasite whereas orabanke is a complete root parasite the exam the the question is partial parasitism indirectly they are asking partial parasite okay it is a scarfularaceae striga comes under the family scarfularaceae cascuta comes under convolvulaceae loranthus comes under loranthaceae orobanki comes under orobankaceae striga comes under scarfularaceae okay striga is otherwise called as which weed rafflesia another uh, one more option they have asked rafflesia is uh, actually the one of the biggest flower that it produce and we can also call as like in what can i say uh, the biggest phenirogamic plant parasite flower that is produced by arnolda arnoldia rafflesia okay so the answer for this uh, uh, phenirogamic plant parasite that is showing partial parasitism is scarfularaceae that is uh, striga okay and the next one is the wto world trade organization came into existence actually world trade organization came into existence from january 1 1995 let me tell you something actually the world trade organization is previously called as gatt general agreement on trade and tariff actually i think it was started in 1946 i am not sure 1946 somehow in between 1946 and 1947 so the main reason that they shifted from gatt to uh, world wto that is world trade organization is gatt have uh, don't have any proper structure functioning and uh, uh you know like uh, all the you know like proper functioning all those things so then only they came into you know all the countries are important countries in this uh, trade exchange all those things you know like uh, they came into uh, 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 one organization that is wto it is a it is a like you know like uh, uh, it is a very proper structured organization which came into existence in january 1 1995 so the answer is 1995 january 1 okay so bakai spot of tomato is caused by so bakai spot of tomato is actually caused by phytophthora species i think it's phytophthora capsis i'm not sure but but i know it's a caused by phytophthora species that's for sure and the next one is a black am phase found in which of the following disease it's a very easy hope you guys have studied in ug itself so angular leaf spot of cotton is otherwise called as black am of cotton that's why they asked black am phase can be found in so banana bunch it up cucumber mosaic virus and black rot of cabbage i think options was a little bit uh, changed in there but for our convenience i added but the answer is angular leaf spot of cotton only so the next one is the dash initiated the nucleic acid molecule in pcr by pro providing the specific complementary sequence so i was a little bit doubt on this uh, you know by seeing the specific complementary sequence so specific complementary sequence actually provided by primers right so i also having a little bit doubt at maybe d and t p is also be the uh, 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 one uh, you know like uh, one option so tag polymerase and dna probe are uh, definitely not i thought maybe d and t p is and primers i believe it's maybe primers but i am not sure 100% make sure of it please so the next one is Ten toxin is a uh, sorry cyclic tetrapeptide binds with the chloroplast coupling factor produced by. See, very simple. What they are trying to ask is ten toxin is produced by. So indirectly they are telling some you know like uh, some sentence and they are trying to confuse us. Okay. So you forgot all those things. Ten toxin which is produced by alternaria alternata only. Right. So the next one is a black heart of. potato is caused by actually black heart of potato is oxygen deficiency they have given options like boron deficiency nitrogen deficiency low oxygen level manganese deficiency something like that so actually black heart of potato is caused by low oxygen level or oxygen deficiency 
so the next one is the principle behind the increasing of soil temperature and soil solarization we know very well jacob cotton is considered as father of soil solarization where uh, this soil solarization technique is especially recommended for soil borne pathogens okay so by raising the soil temperature we can easily uh, you know like uh, kill the pathogens or you know like uh, uh, so that is actually the uh, uh, procedure for soil solarization but they have given ups, uh, options like absorption light polythene sheets prevents heat loss raising soil temperature but i don't know whether uh, this answer is right or not uh, what i thought is trapping of solar energy because it is absorbing the solar energy right and uh, in some people few of my friends are telling like polythene sheets prevent the heat loss actually that is also right what i believe is there might be a chance between uh, you know like uh, trapping solar energy and polythene sheet prevent the heat loss actually the so this polythene sheet actually traps the solar energy and it also prevents the heat loss so there might be the answer might be trapping solar energy or maybe polythene sheet prevent the heat loss i thought it's a trapping of solar energy so the next one is hot water treatment can be efficiently recommended for it is very clear that hot water is especially developed for wheat loose mud luthra and sutter so next one is hortic nets can be observed it's a very very important question in previous uh, net exams also we have uh, i have observed this question so hortic nets are actually observed in ectomycorrhiza in endomycorrhiza there is no hortic nets are found okay so who elucidated the crystallized tmv particle by using x ray crystallography it is actually rosalind franklin who uh, uh, elucidated the particle structure of tmv by using x ray crystallography so the answer is rosalind franklin i thought it's wm stanley in uh, you know like after gave, finishing the exam i came to realize that uh, it was actually rosalind franklin okay the answer is rosalind franklin so the diameter of bacteria so i was a little bit uh, confused with this diameter in the sense this right this or any part of this right so i thought it's they are asking only diameter so it's 0.2 to 1.5 micrometer in diameter so the diameter of bacteria is 0.2 to 1.5 micrometer in diameter i thought that they are asking the overall diameter so that i i went to 3 to 5.0 but the original answer is 0.2 to 1.5 micrometer in diameter so the next one is the principle behind the separation of molecule in electroporosis so the main principle behind the separation of molecule is separation of molecules based on their molecular weight density not you know like anode and cathode will be there but how the particle is separating it is separating based on their molecular weight and density so the answer is sub molecule is separated based on the molecular weight and density they have given the option molecular weight i think so the next one is pathogenicity is determined by which of the following secretion system so we have total of seven secretion system and we can say six right so now total nine identified secretion systems are there six in six are identified in plant pathogenic bacteria and the remaining three are human pathogenic i mean human bacteria not i can't say human bacteria i would say general bacteria okay so so actually among the all the secretion system the bacterial secretion system which is especially recommended for pathogenicity is a type 3 secretion system very very important so type 3 secretion system is especially meant for pathogenicity in bacteria so the next one is plant pathology textbook in india was written by make sure many people told that plant pathology book was written by and they are telling that first plant pathology book was written by see first plant pathology book in india sorry uh, it was written by jg kunoli that is the uh, disease of cultivated crops and their causes and their control in 1858 i repeat diseases of cultivated crops and their causes and their control in 1858 but i have very keenly observed the question they particularly mentioned plant pathology textbook in india 100% they mentioned india so what are all the scientists they have mentioned michelli anton d berry j g kun they are not at all indians right the only scientist that is related to india is bisby so bisby and uh, butler you know like uh, uh, ej butler we know very well uh, ej butler is considered as father of plant pathology so actually that question was also asked later slides we will discuss okay so bisby uh, along with uh, ej butler they wrote the first plant pathology book in india i think uh, along with lr jones also i think it was published in around 1930s i'm not sure uh, year not sure but i am sure that the first textbook in india that is plant pathology was written by ej butler and bisby 100% sure it is not world level it is india they have very particularly mentioned so the answer is bisby so the next one viroids are located in i was a little bit uh, doubted on this 
Actually, viroids are located in uh, vascular bundles and mesophyll tissues. I have found this information somewhere else, but I don't know whether it's true or not. But viroids are actually located in vascular bundles and mesophyll tissues. Please make sure if the answer is wrong, please let me come to know. So the next one is a DAS used for comparison of epidemics, epidemic diseases caused by uh, epidemics caused by some diseases. I thought it's maybe density gradient curve. I'm not sure. Maybe sometimes AUDPC also. Uh, I am not sure. Please let me come to know if you guys know the answer. So the next one is most destructive phase in life, rice bacterial leaf blight is Cresec phase or Cresec phase is otherwise called as wilt phase. It is the most destructive phase. I have seen this question two, three times. In fact, after finishing the net exam also, I have asked my question. I, I have asked this question to my students. They have said Cresec phase, Cresec phase. So actually, you know, like... Uh, I mean, uh, uh, we know very well that in bacterial leaf blight, we have had three phases, right? Yellow, yellow phase and uh, leaf blight phase, crescent phase and yellow leaf phase. Out of the phases, out of the three phases, crescent phase or wilt phase is very dangerous because the infection will spread in a systemic nature and the plant will die immediately. So the most dangerous phase is crescent phase. So the next one is the signaling molecule of SAR. After many years, I have seen this question. I am very happy after seeing this question, you know. So the signaling molecule of systemic acquired resistance is salicylic acid. So again, the next one is also ISR, induced systemic resistance. That is jasmonic acid. And one more thing is there, ethylene. So the signaling molecule for systemic acquired resistance is salicylic acid. The signaling molecule for induced systemic resistance is jasmonic acid and ethylene also. Actually, uh, jasmonic acid they have given in the option. So the next one, which of the following is a molecules? Which of the following is a molecules? Molecules in the sense that is a pytoplasma of spiroplasma, those are all comes under molecules, okay? So here, fire blood of apple, we know it is a bacteria. Citrus exocartosis, it's not, it's a viroid. Citrus tristis, it is a virus. So among the given options, constant is a spiroplasmal disease. As I told you, pytoplasma to spiroplasma comes under molecules. The, I mean, that is a teniricutes. Now it is changed to teniricutes, okay? So the answer is molecule disease, which of the following is molecule disease that is constant. Okay. So ecology of the pathogen means what is ecology of the pathogen? So it is a life cycle studying of the life cycle. Ecology means overall how the pathogen will spread, how the pathogen will cause the disease, how, you know, like, uh, like simply love, uh, I would say from like uh, habitats, I mean habit from morning onwards, from end, from, 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 from starting to ending, how it will do. So all those things that we can only observe in life cycle, right? So the ecology of the pathogen means a life cycle. Okay. So uh, the classification of uh, virus classification organization, that is ICTV. They have given very simple options, ICTV. That is uh, International Committee on Taxonomy of Virus, Springer, Nature, Elisiver. These are all the journals we know very well. So virus classification organization is, that is ICTV. In, uh, sorry, International, uh, sorry, uh, uh, International Committee on Taxonomy of Virus. The same uh, ICTV previously called as ICNV, International Committee on Nomenclature of Virus, uh, that was established in 1966, whereas the ICNV changed to ICTV in 1973. That is International Committee on Taxonomy of Virus in 1973. So the next one is vascular wilts are the examples of. So monocyclic root rods, vascular wilt, these are all are the examples of monocyclic disease. When it comes to polycyclic wheat stem rust, these are all comes under polycyclic disease. Okay. So the best example for um, vascular wilts comes under monocyclic diseases. So the next one is microorganisms colonizing immediately merges the seeds in the region. I don't even uh, completely remember this question. So if you guys know, please let me come to know. Phyllosphere, philoplain and some other things will has they have given. I don't even remember the question and don't, don't, I don't even remember the options also. Please let me come to know if you know. Following Gerbura disease is not correctly matched. I don't remember this uh, properly. So please let me continue if you guys know. And the following is not associated with the rust genera. They have asked genera. Okay, please uh, make sure genera. So Paxinia, Ceratelium, Gymnosporanium, all are the genera of rust. So intradius, actually I didn't remember properly, but something like this, uh, they have asked something. Intradius or intricate, something like that they have asked. But we, I am very sure that Paxinia, Ceratelium and Gymnosporangium are the genesis of rust. So it, it is ultimately intradius or introduced, something like that. So the next one is first plant bacterial disease in India. So that is Bangil blight of potato. That was first reported by E.J. Butler, father of plant pathology in India. Okay. So the first plant bacterial disease answer is Bangil blight of potato. The second one is strobilin group of fungicides are isolated from actually 
uh, in mushroom section also in previous uh, preparation uh, during preparation questions i have told that uh, strobilurin are the new generation fungicide that is isolated from a fungus called that is a mushroom actually mushroom called strobilurus tenacellus so actually it is isolated from strobilurus group of isolated uh, mushrooms uh, sorry strobilurus fungicides are actually isolated from a, a mushroom called wood rotting fungus it's not isolated from insect not plants not from fungus but we can say fungus we, i mean a uh, mushroom also fungi right but they have mentioned very clearly wood rotting mushroom so strobilurin group uh, uh, fungicides are actually isolated from mushrooms that is wood rotting mushroom the mushroom name is strobilurus tenacellus so the first registered bacterial biocontrol agent against plant diseases that they have mentioned bacillus subtilis agrobacterium tumefaciens pseudomonas fluorescens and agrobacterium radiobacter k84 see the first registered bacterial biocontrol is agrobacterium uh, radiobacter k84 first discovered is penifora gigansi or plebeopsis gigansi that is different so before patenting or before registering bacillus subtilis and pseudomonas agrobacterium radiobacter is commercially registered and that is the first plant bacteria sorry biocontrol bi agent against plant bacterial diseases answer is agrobacterium radiobacter k84 the next one is which pathogen pair is not correct not correct sorry sorry which pair is correct not not it's not correct it's a correct pylodi pylodi is caused by pyroplasmal disease right so constant constant is a, a spiroplasmal disease citrus tristiza it is a virus so they are uh, the only option right is chrysanthemum chlorotic it is a viride chrysanthemum chlorotic motile it's a viride and it is the largest viride which contains 399 to 401 nucleotides it is the largest viride okay so the next one is oomycetes specific fungicide so hope you guys know very well about oomycetes specific fungicide is o uh, metaloxide the trade name is uh, 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 redomil or subdu apron so many trade names are there but oomycetes specific fungicide is it's a metaloxide okay we know very well what are all the fungi that comes under oomycetes that is pthm phytophthora albogos and downy mildews mostly we can recommend metaloxide so in plant disease management actually the metaloxide was discovered in the year 1977 sometimes maybe this question also can be asked for next year Oh, so for uh, you know for extra information i am telling so metaloxide was actually discovered in the year 1977 so in plant disease management uh, protection of host from the pathogen is achieved by prophylactic spray 100% sure so the in plant disease management host protection can be achieved by prophylactic spray spraying of chemicals before appearance of disease that is called prophylactic spray okay so fly fungus so actually fly fungus entomophthora entomophthora and amanita muscaria is also considered as sometimes fly agaricus fly agaricus or fly fungus but they have given both options entomophthora and amanita and i have selected entomophthora because it is more related to this fly fungus but that doesn't mean amanita can't considered but entomophthora and amanita muscaria both are considered but i have selected entomophthora but uh, you know like uh, uh, I, i don't know what is, what is your opinion on this please let me uh, come to know the next one is the theory of retrogression evolution i don't even know what is this retrogression evolution and all those things i have uh, skipped this question so if you guys know the answer please let me come to know so the next one is the sem magnification they have given options like 1000 1500 1500 to 15000 something like that they have given but the original sem means scaling sc sorry scanning electron microscope the maximum magnification power is around uh, 1 lakh 75000 to 1 lakh if it is a time it will goes up to 1 crore okay so sem magnification is 75000 to 1 lakh so wheat loose mud is a, we know very well wheat loose mud is a internally seed borne pathogen i have seen this question from past uh, many exams not only in exa net exams you can see any competitive exams this question might be there i don't know why the people uh, uh, gave this much priority to this because uh, what i feel is very few internally pathogens are there like uh, wheat loose mud barley loose mud something like that very few pathogens are there that's why i think uh, they have given uh, more priority to this so but wheat loose mud is a internally seed borne pathogen okay rice scare disease this is also very quite common question that is caused by zinc deficiency so actually rice scare disease was reported by yl nin in 1971 i think Y.L. Nina is the first scientist who discovered this rice scare disease which is caused by zinc deficiency. The next one is peach leaf curl is caused by peach leaf curl is caused by Tafrina deformans. Okay. And uh, other options like Tafrina maculans, Tafrina epiphylla, Protomyces macrosporus they have given but the option is uh, Tafrina maculans. Foolish disease of rice is related to actually foolish disease of rice is related to Bacane disease. Why it is called foolish disease because it produces more number of tillers. Why it is producing more number of tillers? because the infected plants produce a 
growth growth promoter uh, that is uh, uh, gibberellins so gibberellins it produced that was first discovered by korosawa korosawa discovered gibberellins in 1926 they discovered then the same disease that is foolish seedling disease or foolish seedling disease of rice that is bacana disease which is caused by fusarium muniliformi why it is called foolish seedling the actually tellers are actually produce more height more number of tellers are produced but there is no grains that's why it's called a foolish seedling disease more number of tellers are the tellers are more right because of the production of zebrilins so this foolish disease of rice is related to bacana disease okay so which of the following antibiotic is recommended for the management of fungal disease c antimycin streptocycline and streptomycin are all the bacterial related of course kausagamycin is also but kausagamycin can be recommended for fungal diseases uh, what i remembered is i think we can recommend this kausagamycin for rice blast disease so for rice blast we can recommend this kausagamycin so the question is antibiotic which of the following antibiotic that we can recommend for fungal diseases so we can recommend kausagamycin for fungal disease especially for rice blast we can recommend okay so role of salt played in the isolation of nucleic acid it is a crystallization only at i will tell you so in 1935 we know very well that uh, wm stanley got received nobel prize because of crystallization of uh, plant virus that is tmv so he crystallized by using ammonium sulfate actually ammonium sulfate is a salt okay he crystallized the tmv that is tobacco mosaic virus by using a salt the salt is ammonium sulfate sometimes they can also ask which of the following salt can be used for the crystallization of plant viruses ammonium sulfate ammonium nitrate something like that they will ask the salt they are using in the crystallization is ammonium sulfate so it is a salt the reason is crystallization of plant virus i am sure on this 100% so paranthozoom is present we know very well paranthozoom is especially uh, we can especially observed in bacillus mycota group of fungi so the next one is uh, which of the following is a not a host specific toxin i repeat not a host specific toxin am toxin t toxin and aka toxins are host specific toxins whereas cercosporin is a non host specific toxin or not a host specific toxin so the answer is cercosporin it is a non host specific toxin or non not a host specific toxin so optical parts of microscope includes actually ips condenser mirror all are the parts of optical parts so body tube is not a part of optical i mean optical parts doesn't include body tube i thought that it is a condenser but later i came to realize the body tube so the answer is body tube so yellow disease of ginger is caused by fusarium here remember most of the yellows are caused by phytoplasma but the ginger and the some other yellows one or two other yellows are there i actually i didn't remember properly so if possible that i will comment below so the ginger yellows is caused by fusarium so the next one is the rice blast was first reported in i thought it's japan but it is actually reported in china so rice blast was first reported in china in 1837 so the first report rice blast is caused by pericularia varese or magnoporthia grese in india it was first reported in tanjavur district of tamil nadu in 1918 but in world level it was first discovered by china discovered in china okay host specificity next question answer is china next question is uh, host specificity of uh, bacteria to pathover level is determined by i have no idea hrb genes or pathogen genes or avr genes or virulent genes i don't know what are all the genes which are responsible for uh, uh, host specificity of a bacteria at uh, uh you know like uh, path over level i thought it may be path uh, pth genes that is pathogenicity genes i don't know whether it's true or not and which of the following is a pyramidal groups there are groups of fungi said mancozy metalaxyl axathin so there is different groups of fungi said but uh, ethrimol comes under ethrimol or dimethrimol that comes under pyramidal group of fungi said so the next one is not comes under endophyte actually they have given options like endophytes colonizes with the plant roots and nourishes colonizes with the roots provide the protection and colonizes endophytes enters into the plant cells and form specialized structures colonizes the beneficial microbes so all the given options endophytes the option wrong option is endophytes enters into the plant cells and form a specialized structure this is a wrong answer because endophytes cannot enter into the plant cells and form a specialized structure it won't form any specialized structure so the wrong answer is it won't form any specialized structures so the next one is who received nobel prize for the discovery of prions it is a stanley prusiner in history itself i have told i have told this who received a nobel prize for the discovery of prions is stanley prusiner see prions are the new group of pathogens not plant pathogens because no prion disease have been observed in plant disease so far 
So Brian Smith is, is an infectious protein or malfunctioned protein. So it was first discovered by Stanley Prusiner. For that he got Nobel Prize in 1997. Okay. So envelope of enveloped viruses contains. They have given options like lipids, glycoproteins and lip, uh, lipopolysaccharides, carbohydrates and lipids and lipoprotein membranes. So I thought that it is a glycoprotein and lipopolysaccharide, but uh, later I came to know and I have seen somewhere that is a lipoprotein membrane is the uh, envelope that contains in the enveloped viruses may be wrong also please let me come to know if it is wrong so internally seed borne bacteria before we have seen wheat loose mud is internally seed borne bacteria sorry internally seed borne fungi but when it comes to uh, among the given options citrus canker fire blight of apple citrus greening so black rat of cabbage is the best example of internally seed borne bacteria actually black rat of cabbage is the example of both internal and externally seed borne bacteria but they have asked internally out of the given options black rat of cabbage is the example of internally seed borne bacteria so the next one is ptgs can be used in so ptgs means post transcriptional gene silencing otherwise called as rna interference otherwise called as co-suppression otherwise called as quelling so there are many names are there i repeat post transcriptional gene silencing otherwise called as rna interference otherwise called as co-suppression otherwise called as quelling okay PTGS can be used in plants as RNAI, that is RNA interference, okay? So the next one is uh, multi-lines are the specialized set of varieties that is meant for. I have no idea why multi-lines, what is meant for, maybe disease resistance or uh, different race specific vertical resistance, enhanced resistance or enhanced production, I have no idea. Please let me come to know if you, if you guys know. So following symptoms are not produced by agrobacterium. If you see hairy roots, galls, tumors, uh, and cankers, see hairy root of apple is caused by agrobacterium rhizogenes, right? Galls and tumors are the general features and general uh, common symptoms that is produced by agrobacterium. But when it comes to cankers, cankers is not produced by agrobacterium. So the answer is, which of the following is not produced by agrobacterium means cankers, okay? So the next one is quarantine. So quarantine means it is a 40 days period. So quarantine is actually an Italian word which means 40 days period. So the next one is Fusarium oxysporin causing the disease in banana. That is a Panama built of banana is caused by Fusarium oxysporin. We know very well, right? Otherwise called as uh, uh, banana uh, uh, banana Fusarium built. Otherwise called as Fusarium built of banana. Otherwise called as Panama built. So the first simple microscope was made by Hans and Jacares. It's not a Leuven hook. I am 100% sure that I will tell you why. So actually the first microscope was given by Hans and Jacares Janssen in 1595. That is a simple microscope. Leeuwenhoek discovered a microscope that is compound microscope and he also developed the magnification lenses. Okay, more than 300 types of magnification lenses that was developed by Leeuwenhoek that is for compound microscope. I am 100% sure on this because I am meant for history. You know, I have collected so much history. It is 100% sure that is simple. You know, who is Hans? He is a father of Jacares. Actually, is the it is the original idea of hands that microscope. Actually, he's because he's a sailor, so he used to use that uh, long uh, what we can call uh, what we can tell it's a uh, telescopes. Huh? Uh, yes. So from there he got the idea, and he told to his uh, son that is a Jacarius, and he you know like uh, he developed something and along with his father hands. So the first simple microscope, hundred percent sure, simple microscope were first developed by Hans and Jacarius in 1595 itself. Compound microscope that was developed by Leeuwenhoek in 1676, almost 80 years after the discovery of Jacarius Janssen and Hans, Leeuwenhoek discovered the compound microscope. I am sure compound microscope means Leeuwenhoek. If it is a simple microscope, it is a Hans and Jacarius only, 100%. Okay. And the next one is the members of Deuteromycetes are, we know very well Deuteromycetes are dustbin fungi or fungi imperfectly. Why we are calling? Because sexual stage is absent. We know very well sexual stage means uh, teleomorph sexual stage is absent absent means only asexual stage is present that is anomorph okay the answer is deuteromycetes are the anomorph only asexual stages are present example fusarium you can take one example i'm telling so the tyndalization so actually this tyndalization technique was given by john tyndall for killing of endospores okay uh, heat resistant spores endospores are the spores which is produced by the some bacteria like bacillus and clostridium during unfavorable conditions so due for the killing of this uh, endospores, endospores are highly resistant to heat. It can survive an average of 100 degrees centigrade. This question is also asked, I think. So here, so for killing of endospore, John Tyndall gave a technique called Tyndallization. By, by on his name, uh, he gave Tyndallization. His name is John Tyndall. So he gave the procedure, I mean, procedure name is John Tyndall, uh, sorry, Tyndallization. 
so the procedure for tendalization 100 degrees centigrade for 15 to 20 minutes and three consecutive days i remembered three consecutive consecutive days day after day day after day okay so three consecutive days remember that 100 degrees celsius for 15 to 20 minutes for three consecutive days okay so the next one is multipartite nature of viruses and virus uh, that is virus uh, can contributes so i don't know the answer maybe uh, a virulence, I am not sure. Maybe virulence, multipartite nature of virus maybe contributes virulence. I am not sure. I repeat, I am not sure. So, fruit canker of Goa is caused by Pestilopsis sidi. The pathogen responsible for fruit canker is Pestilopsis sidi. So, the kingdom protozoa segregates into. So, actually, protozoa, sorry, kingdom protozoa segregates into protista. See, in domain eukarya, uh, you know, like uh, protozoa comes under protista. Actually, protista, this plasmodia pora brassica, all that uh, comes under protista. In chromista, whom I got a welcome, right? In chromista, whom I got a welcome. In fungi like zygomycota, ascomycota, bestiomycota, neocalic, ballistomycota, and chitidomycota, so many things are comes under fungi. But when it comes to protozoa, that is plasmodiopora brassicae, that all comes under protozoal disease, right? So protozoa actually comes under protista, okay? But even though it comes under protista, we can call it as a fungi like organism, okay? Because of the characters and the features that it have, we can call it as fungi like organism. But it is actually comes under protista, that is protozoa kingdom. So, father of plant pathology in India, yes, it is a butler. Not only plant pathology, but also mycology. So, father of plant pathology and mycology is E.J. Butler. So the next one is the streptomyces is produced from actually streptomycin is produced from an antibody sorry uh, it is a uh, isolated from a bacteria called streptomyces gracious actually streptomycin was discovered by waxman we know very well right so for the discovery he also got nobel prize in 1952 i think i'm not sure maybe 44 he discovered and he got 52 in nobel prize i think so so this is confined to a particular area or locality which is in sporadic in nature that is endemic epidemic is sudden outbreak endemic means it is confined to a particular area or locality sporadic, sporadic means it will come very rarely and it will go epipoietetic means epidemic is otherwise called as epipoietetic okay so the answer is endemic for example example is potato water syncytium endobiotic okay so the next one is a potato sorry book describes about the dangerous nature of pollutants so silent spring very 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 important book in fact i have this book it's like a novel it's a fantastic book i, have, I haven't studied completely but i have studied very few pages that was written by rachel carson and was released in september 27 1962 i remember it very well that book was released in september 27 1962 it is a fantastic book it explained very clearly about the dangerous effects of pesticides especially ddt you know very well ddt is banned only because of this book that is uh, that was written by rachel carson so the book describes about the dangerous pollutants is silent spring so fantastic book so if you guys have a time please buy and uh, go through so the ralstonia shifts between virulent to avirulent by using so they're asking so ralstonia is shifting between virulent nature to avirulent nature by using which kind of genes i don't know the, here i have mentioned some genes so please let me come to know if you know so whiptail of cauliflower is caused by molybdenum deficiency so the monocyclic disease produces saturation curve whereas polycyclic disease produces sigmoid curve or s shaped curve so they have asked the question monocyclic disease it produces saturation curve so the next one is vascular wilts are the examples i think uh, this question already came so vascular wilts and root rots are the examples of monocyclic diseases so the next one is vitiococcal uh, is associated with bacteria that is a clavibacter tritici uh, the other species associated with is anguna tritici okay anguna tritici is the plant first plant parasitic nematode that is discovered by needham in 1743 itself so the first plant parasitic nematode discovered is anguna tritici okay so here uh, this v tier corkle is associated with anguna tritici as well as the bacteria that is clavibacter tritici otherwise called as ratai bacter tritici here the answer is anguna tritici okay it is a nematode so alternate pathway for oxidation of glucose is it is phenol pathway i don't know whether it should sure uh, or not but uh, i searched on the internet and i found out it's uh, maybe phenol pathway i'm not sure so the next one is please let me come to know if it is wrong so sinocytic mycelium is the characteristics of womycota because we know very well that uh, sinocyte the best uh, important feature in uh, one of the important feature in uh, womycota is uh, sinocytic mycelium and uh, biflagellate juice spores and uh, sinocytic mycelium is the characteristics of womycota okay spraying capacity of low volume spray 
spray that is 50 to 5 to 50 liters. So principle behind the sterilization of autoclave is water boiling and raising the pressure because if the water don't boil, how the pressure will rise, right? So boiling of water and raising the pressure, we can't simply raise the pressure without, uh, uh, you know, like uh, without water in the caution, uh, you know, like in the guidelines also they have mentioned. So maintain the proper water level. So the answer is raising the boiling of water so that we can raise the pressure. So at what pH rain is considered as acid rain? So below 5.6, I'm not sure. But when I searched in the internet, I found that if the, uh, you know, like pH is 4.4 uh, 4 to 4.6, it is considered as acid rain. But somehow few of my, uh, you know, colleagues and few of my friends told that if it is below 5.6, it is considered as uh, acid rain. I'm not sure. Please let me come to know if, we, if it is wrong. So the next one is fungal transmission of tobacco necrosis virus is remediated by Olfidium brassicae. It is a fungal species, Olfidium brassicae. Okay. So the next one is anthrocnose causing genera. See, Coltotricum, Glomerella, Elisino, all are, you know, like, uh, you know, uh, Coltro, uh, anthrocnose causing genera only. But what we are studying from since many years is Coltotricum. But I have selected a Coltotricum only, but I don't know whether, uh, 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 you know, like, uh, whether they will give, uh, uh, you know, like, uh, uh, marks for everyone or I don't know whether what they are going to do. But what I know is as far as my experience, anthrocnose is caused by Coltotricum. So the first quarantine act was passed in, in India, it is passed as a destructive insect and Pest Act 1940. Actually, Federal Quarantine Act, Federal Quarantine Act that is uh, actually passed in America in 1912. The same Federal Quarantine Act changed into Destructive Insects and Pest Act 1940. That is DIPA, Destructive Insects and Pest Act 1940. The answer is Destructive Insects and Pest Act 1914. So, the Fusarium is an example. I told you already, Fusarium is an example of anomorph because lack of sexual stage, only asexual stages are present. Okay. So, so the cross protection is achieved by infection of virus of mild strains of same virus. So they have given like, you know, we know very well uh, cross protection means uh, it is like pre immunization. See, simply immunizing the uh, plants by infecting the mild strains of viruses of uh, mild strains of viruses that is same virus. If it is a citrus tetrisa virus, we infect with uh, citrus tetrisa virus mild strains. If it is a tobacco mosaic virus, we infect with the tobacco mosaic virus mild strains. So, so the answer is mild strains of same virus. So the next one is which of the following is a powdery mildew genera. So following is a sorry, which of the following is a not a powdery mildew genera? I'm sorry. So not a powdery mildew genera. Okay. So it is a phylactinia level will all are powdery mildew genera, but a spatio uh, sorry. Uh, spasiloma is not a powdery mildew genera. I think it causes, uh, you know, cankers or something like that, or uh, fruit rots or something like that. So, uh, not a powdery mildew genera. That is spasioloma. Sorry, spasiloma. And potato common scab is caused by streptomyces scabies. So, the next one is spiroplast is derived from gram negative. Because if it is a protoplast, it is a gram positive. If it is a spiroplast, it is a gram negative. So the next one is Delobrio parasitism. So Delobrio actually parasitism. So the when you see the definition, so Delobrio gram negative bacteria that infects another gram negative bacteria is called Delobrio. It was first discovered by Slope. Okay. So here actually Delobrio parasitism gram negative bacteria. Okay. They also gave option like grass liquids. Actually grass liquids means grass liquids also gram negative, right? So but I have uh, gone with uh, gram negative. Okay. So the next one is virus that parasit is a fungal cell, mycoviruses. Myco means fungus, virus means virus that infect in the fungi is called mycoviruses. That was first discovered by Safferman and Morris in 1963. That is LPP, Lingba, something the LPP was there, right? So virus that parasitism in fungal cell means mycoviruses, okay? So the nucleic acid range of viruses, say I have seen this question after many years. So actually the nucleic acid range of almost all viruses ranges from 5 to 40. If it is a protein, 60 to 95%. So this varies when it comes to TMV. In the case of TMV, it may varies. So TMV contains 5% nucleic acid, 95% protein coat. But in the general, normally all viruses contains 5 to 40% 5 to of protein, sorry, nucleic acid, 60 to 95% of uh, protein coat. So they have asked is nucleic acid range. So the answer is 5 to 40, okay? So club root of cabbage, etiology was discovered by. So the club root of cabbage, life cycle, symptoms, everything was discovered by MS Voronin. He's a Russian scientist and also he is a student of Anton D. Barry. So club root of cabbage was first discovered by Voronin. So actually 
I will tell you one of the very small uh, uh, history related to this. In 1870s, in Russia, club root, you know, uh, uh, cabbage was, you know, like uh, uh, growing cabbage was uh, very, more, I mean, more. So what happened? There was this uh, disease appears in uh, club root of, I mean, a special di uh, this new disease occurs. And Anton Deberry came to know that uh, there was some disease in uh, Russia and something like that. So immediately he sent Voronin. Voronin is the student of Anton Deberry. Why he sent only Voronin? Because there are other students also there. Why he only sent Voronin? Because Voronin is from Russia. He only know better about the Russian conditions, situation, soils and all those things, right? So then only he sent Voronin and Voronin worked on this club root of cabbage and discovered the life cycle. And he also named the pathogen that is caused by club root of cabbage, which is caused by Plasmodium pora brassicae. He not only discovered the life cycle of club root of cabbage, but also discovered the life cycle of uh, potato ward, that is syncytrium endobiotic. So here uh, the question is club root of cabbage cabbage etiology was discovered by Voronin only okay the answer Voronin so the first plant resistant gene that is HM1 that was isolated by Briggs and Walter in 1991 from corn that is maize okay Elminthosporium or Cochleobolus uh, something uh, pathogen is associated with this actually I forgot so the first plant resistant gene is HM1 answer is HM1 vertical resistance is governed by we know very well vertical resistance is governed by single gene whereas horizontal resistance is governed by many genes that's why it's called as monogenic Vertical resistance, why it is called monogenic, but because it is supported by or governed by single gene. Okay, so the answer is single gene. So the direct rate of plant production quarantine is located at Faridabad, Haryana. So DPPQS actually established in the year of 1946 under the British government. Okay, so it was actually established in Faridabad, Haryana. Faridabad was there in Haryana. Okay, DPPQS, direct rate of plant production quarantine and storage, Faridabad, which Ralston air race responsible for Moko built of banana. There are five races of uh, Ralston and Solanes around that infect crop. Race one, race two, race three, race four, race five. Race one infect Solanes crops. Race to Musaceae. Musaceae means our banana, Cavendish, all the varieties. If you see Musaceae species, all banana. Race 3, potato. Only it infects potato. I have told uh, race 1 is uh, Solanaceae, right? Potato comes under Solanaceae, potato, tomato, brinjal, all those things comes under Solanaceae only, right? So, but 3 only infect potato. 4 is ginger and 5 is mulberry. So, here they have asked uh, responsible for mocha wilt of banana is race 2. So, because Musaceae is race 2, right? So the next one, vertifolia effect wiped out. So let me tell you what is vertifolia effect first. So loss of horizontal resistance during breeding for vertical resistance is called vertifolia effect. Which resistance is losing here? Horizontal resistance. They are asked wiped out. So vertifolia effect wiped out horizontal resistance because we are breeding for vertical resistance, right? So the next one is the virus that multiply inside the body of vector is a propagative type. They actually multiply inside the body of vector and they transfer the disease so such kind of uh, uh, transmission is called propagative type okay spores produced by the fusion of uh, similar gametangia that is uh, jagospore i thought it's woospore later i came to realize it's not similar gametangia woospore if you see it is a dissimilar gametangia uh, that is uh, anthridium and ugonium are uh, not similar right so when it comes to jagospore jagospores are fusion between two similar gametangia so here the spore produced by the fusion of two similar gametangia is jagospore so chlamydospores and zoospores are asexual spores are uh, you know like uh, vegetative spores so the next one is the answer is jagospore okay so pr2 so we know very well that there are uh, 17 families of PR proteins are there. So among that uh, PR2 is beta 1 comma 3 gluconase. So PR1 is chitinase and tomato like proteins there are so many are there but PR2 is beta 1 comma 3 gluconase. Second one is Saint Anthony's fire is otherwise called as holy fire or fire devil's fire something like that. It, very simple it is ergotism here. They are for confusing us they are asking. So ergotism is otherwise called as Saint Anthony's fire holy fire we know very well right. So Saint Anthony's fire or ergot is otherwise uh, which is responsible for the pathogen responsible is claviceps fusiformis. We know very well that claviceps fusiformis in rye. Rye ergot is classified by claviceps fusiformis. So so this ergot is we are calling a Saint Anthony's fire. Okay, so Saint Anthony's fire pathogen is Claviceps fusiformis. So bacterial food storage organism beta hydroxybutyrate, but the full name is poly beta hydroxybutyrate. So simply they mentioned beta hydroxybutyrate is the food storage organ of bacteria. Answer is beta hydroxybutyrate. So the energy storage of fungi. So the answer is glycogen. Endospore can survive a temperature range of up to 100 degrees centigrade. Few people told me 110, 120, 130. No, as far as my Concern it is 100 degrees centigrade because 
so in john tindall they mentioned in one article endospore can survive up to 100 beyond 100 i don't think it will survive okay so the temperature is 100 degrees centigrade in tindallization also we are heating at 100 degrees centigrade 15 to 20 minutes or uh, 15 to 20 minutes for three consecutive days if it is beyond that why don't we go to i mean uh, why don't they he mentioned that uh, uh, 110 120 we can go endospore can survive up to 100 only okay that's why they mentioned john tindall mentioned this so heating up to 100 degrees centigrade is more than enough so after 100 it can't survive so higher level of taxa in virus see uh, you know in up to 1990s and 2000 the higher level of taxa is order now i think it's maybe kingdom or uh, uh, i think it's a family or kingdom after 2017 or 18 maybe it's changed but in which perception and which perception that they are going to take is i have no idea but i thought it's an order i thought it's an order higher level of tax size order so maybe kingdom or family also i'm not sure please let me come to know with a strong reference please because i am very enthusiastic to learn something new so halostem of cauliflower is caused by actually halostem of cauliflower is caused by excess nitrogen okay humicity cell wall composition we know very well fungal cell wall is made up of chitin whereas humicity cell wall is made up of cellulose and uh, 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 hydroxyproline in last year they mentioned hydroxyproline in this year they have asked directly humicity cell wall composition that is cellulose okay so virus moves from cell to cell by plasmodesmata so actually i will tell you so imagine if it is a uh, is a plasmodes this is a gap actually virus is a bigger than the plasmodes matter so it produce a protein called moment protein so this moment protein helped in the mediation because if i want to if the if the i mean if the virus want to move from one cell to another cell this plasmodes matter is like a shortcut so it can easily transmit it can easily for go, go to from one cell to another cell so again if you want to come out and it need to infect it will be a little bit difficult for virus that's why it has a mechanism of uh, you know like moving from one cell to another cell by using plasmodesmata okay not only virus i think virus also moves from cell to cell by plasmodesmata only so which is not related to virus they have mentioned some uh, options like uh, virus contains protein code that is right virus contains nucleic acid that is also right virus divide of uh, protein coat it's a wrong answer sorry uh, it is not sorry i think i have mentioned the wrong option okay so please uh, don't remember this take it out so the option uh, right uh, wrong option is virus contains only rna this is the wrong option because we know very well virus contains dna and rna but not both it contains only one kind of genetic material either dna nor rna or rna only one kind of material but they mentioned virus contains only rna it's not true right so the option not related is virus contains only rna is not related so ganoderma causing disease in coconut is basal stem rot i was a little bit doubt but rot is also otherwise called as basal stem rot i don't know whether it's true or not so but uh, they have mentioned that uh, ganoderma is causing basal Basal stem rot of uh, uh, coconut is caused by Ganoderma. So Ganoderma is there, and uh, endospore is a resting spore. The dormancy of the resting spores can be reversed to active form by a process called a cryptobiosis. Cryptobiosis is a process where the dormant endospore can revert to their original position or active position. is called cryptobiosis. So the answer is cryptobiosis. So the next one is a TEM resolution power. So uh, transmission electron microscope so be clear they have mentioned mm it's not mm okay it's a nanometer 0 0.1 nanometer so temporal resolution power is 0 0.1 nanometer so spontaneous generation theory was finally blown up by louis pasher he's the first one who blown up the spontaneous generation theory and came up with a theory of germ theory okay so the next one is the gram negative flagella rings so gram positive contains two flagella rings m and s whereas gram negative contains l p m s four rings are present so they have asked how many rings are present in gram negative so gram negative four rings are present so captain is otherwise called as kittelson because captain was invented by a scientist called kittelson in 1952 so captain is otherwise called kittelson killer okay pytoplasma comes under grass liquids firmicutes tenricutes we know very well pytoplasma comes under tenricutes okay so cashew damping of pathogen so cashew damping of is caused by phytophthora so next one is spectral imaging is used for the analysis of so spectral imaging all those things can be used for the analysis of remote sensing okay so satellite viruses contains so satellite virus means 
the virus need another helper virus for infection and multiplication that is the option okay so incorrect pair they have given some options uh, you know incorrect pair is sorghum ergot actually caused by claviceps but they have given here spatulotica so spatulotica is not all related to ergot right so this is the wrong pair so rna interference happens in where rna interference are post transcriptional gene silencing happens that they are asking nucleus chloroplast nucleolus cytoplasm actually it happens in cytoplasm okay rna interference will happens in cytoplasm so the next one is the root stocks responsible for the sedra sed of uh, i mean uh, sp uh, spread i mean uh, spread of uh, citrus exocartosis that is a citrus trifoliate is actually root stock so that is the citrus the you know uh, the indicator plant used for citrus exocartosis sweet orange yeah? so the scientific name of sweet orange is uh, citrus trifoliate so citrus arantifolia is the uh, root stock that is responsible for citrus trichiza virus that is claxilem scientific name of claxilem is citrus tri uh, arantifolia but sweet lime is citrus trifoliate so here the answer is citrus trifoliate so the next one is which of any plant parasite act as a bridge between transmission of plant viruses we know it is a daughter cascuta so when it is spreading from plant to plant it automatically spread the virus diseases also so the option is the uh, answer is daughter so the epidemic rate of lead blight of potato is 0.3 to 0.5 units per day okay which of the following diseases not correct are introduced in india which is the wrong pair like so we know where coffee rush introduced from sri lanka lead blight europe rubber powdery mildew malaya but pgnp sterility mosaic virus is uh, it's not introduced from europe actually in india pgnp P sterility mosaic virus was first reported by an Indian scientist P Lava Kumar. P Lava Kumar is an Indian scientist who first reported this P G N P sterility mosaic virus, and he also reported that P G N P sterility mosaic virus is transmitted by Eriophyte mite, that is Asaria kajani, or red gram sterility mosaic virus. We can also say, okay. So the next one is which of the following diseases uh, not occurs at high temperature, that is uh, sun scald of apple. I don't know whether it's true or not. Uh, please let me come to know. So, five, five Kingdom classification was given by Whittaker, 1961. It is a very, very important, very famous also. So, first resistant is developed in which of the following? Fungi, fungicide, insect, insecticide, mites, acaricide, bacteria, antibiotics. So, it is first uh, uh, resistant developed in bacteria, antibiotics. Okay. Which of the following mode of action is not correct? I think they have given some option. Basic resin is not correct something. I'm not sure. I didn't even remember the question also. So, seed born diseases causing pathogen. Uh, the inoculum is present so actually it is a seed coat and one more thing they have also asked wheat bunt the inoculum is surviving i think uh, ovule or something like that they have asked i didn't remember but the seed born disease of uh, uh, seed born disease causing pathogen the inoculum is present in seed coat okay so disease is not related to zerbura that is a root rot foot rot powdery mildew so all diseases are present in jerbula but in jerbura there is no phytoplasmal disease that is a phyllodi has been reported so far so the next one is answer is phytoplasma that is phyllodi rastrolia primary synthesis is carbohydrate utilization so okay it mainly utilizes carbohydrates so the next one is uh, when haploid and diploid phases is the life cycle is found that is a see this kind of life cycle can be observed in yeast haploid diploid something like that but haplobiontic diplobiontic triplobiontic but they haven't mentioned the haplo haplo diplobiontic i am very much sure they haven't mentioned this option there is no option of haplo diplobiontic i am sure on this they have mentioned haplo biontic diplo biontic and triplo biontic only but there is no haplo diplo biontic i think uh, uh, i don't know whether it's was there but as far as 99% this option was not there if it is there the option answer is haplo diplo biontic only so the next one is marker assisted selection used for minimizes the time for developing of resistant variety i don't know i just asked some breeding people they told the uh, the answer but i don't know whether this option was there in the answer or not so the next one is found out the wrong, find out the wrong pair uh, just i think uh, as mentioned before basic tries in polymix of bram uh, graminis in in 30 years ribosome this is the wrong pair compared to other one so the next one is elementary corpuscles are found actually elementary corpuscle can be observed in l-form bacteria that is the lister form bacteria so l-form bacteria was discovered by kleini barger nobel in 1935 she's the lady okay so which of the following pair is not uh, uh, related to each other like exocartosis, coconut, cardangan and chrysanthemum, chlorotic stunt all are viral diseases when it comes to lethal, coconut lethally living it is a uh, molecule disease right so it is not related to molecules, coconut, coconut lethally living so then they have given formula used for to calculate the wavelength of microscope that is uh, resolution power equal to wavelength divided by 2 into numerical aperture this is the answer so which of the following is incorrect pair i think it's a fucus blight something was there janthomonas or maybe something like that so i think uh, we have collected uh, we have we have managed to collect 147 in fact i wrote this exam and i try to manage uh, to remember uh, 147 questions along with uh, you know uh, assistance of my friends 
so all the answers are here given in the exam are completely based on options given in the exam so make sure all the answers are only options given in the exam you may thought that see this is more related to some other option or something like that or some other answer but the, if the answer was not there we can't do anything right so all the answers are based on the options given in the exams so the above questions are purely based on the memory and one extra thing is few options were added to the questions for our convenience because I didn't remember all the options completely but 95% of the answers what we have mentioned here is right. Maybe 5% of the answers may be wrong. So hope you guys understand. Hope it will be helpful for you. And this is the book which was written by me and a vision into plant pathology complete student version and what are all the net you know like preparations and all those things that what we have done all those things are actually a small extracts from these books only uh, vision one and vision two volume one and volume two hope it will be helpful if you guys want you just contact Kalyani publishers. So this is about uh, uh, net 2023 hope it will be helpful so if you guys want further guidance or support so our geeky gates are always open for uh, ink budding scientists so you guys can reach out by mailing in uh, or you know like by commenting on uh, uh, you know or sending a mail to our website uh, i mean in the website or that is uh, www.geekyresearcher.com so stay geeky stay tuned we are team geeky researchers